Traders, before I take off to the weekend, I, want, I would like to talk about um, a trade I took today and uh, worked out fine, but uh, could have been much better. That's CRCT. Something uh, kind of, uh, I mean, out of the ordinary happened there today. It's quite rare, but let's talk about it because uh, educational wise, it's uh, quite interesting. Before that, here's my PL for today. As you can see, um, deep in red today. I took a big risk in uh, mRNA and I ended up losing a lot of money, $27,000. In fact, well, I did have a day this week where I finished close to $80,000 in mRNA. So I gave back some of my earnings in mRNA. I'm going to finish with a very nice green week, but uh, definitely a very unpleasant uh, day today. Some winners, some losers, but a big loser in mRNA. Let's talk a little bit about CRCT. You may remember I posted this trade. Uh, while I posted this trade earlier, I said I'm kind of not sure about what's going to happen with CRCT because it had sometimes it the spreads were opened up a little bit more than I'm I would like to see in a stock that I'm trading. I mean, I did like uh, I, I did like the trade because the stock is um, uh, down like it was at that point I think it was 18% down something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway. The stock was moving higher. I was watching this uh, whole number $28 uh, reversal here. And I thought, well, you know, the stock is very, very weak. It's very likely to come down under $28 if it does move under. And I posted it in the room for short under $28. However, what I did not like about the stock was the fact that every once in a while, when I was looking at it, the spreads opened up dramatically. I mean, I once saw it at 40 cents and I kept watching and it was like four. Three, two cents, something like that, rather small. But I mean, I, I kept remembering the 40 cent spread I saw like a few minutes earlier, and I was a little bit hesitant about whether I should get into this trade or not. So I was watching CRCT, I was a little bit concerned, but I also kind of liked the technical formation. I liked it very much, the technical formation. It was a pre-market pick, I was watching it, I was interested to see what's going to happen, and I did finally find a nice technical entry point under 28, posted in the trading room, did mention there may be a bit of a problem, there was a problem. It did finish in green, but that was, I, I could say, a bit luck. You know, when I took the trade at $28, when I clicked that button, it opened up the spread in like 40 cents or so. So my execution, instead of being some few cents under $28, like should happen uh, with a stock like that, was approximately 40 cents down. So I, 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 I started this trade down 40 cents, which means now, if my target was, and it was around 80 cents or so, that was my target, I, I could theoretically make a little bit money, but I, I just started out at the price, instead of 27.90 something, I started out with 27.60, or a bit less, I think 27.57 or something like that. So that was a horrible feel for a stock that once it's triggered, and it did trigger very nicely. Look at the way it came down here. It was a big downside move. There's a one minute candle. It really crashed down all the way almost to $27. But that was very, very quick. And at, during that time, it opened up the spread dramatically and I got a bad feel. So, you know, I, I wanted to be quick. I wanted to be in. I clicked that button. Spread was opened up. It happens. It's very, very rare. I can't remember the last time it happened to me. I mean, sometimes I could be losing just a few cents, but to lose 40 cents just like that, that's not something I'm used to. So now I'm starting and it, and, and, and it does happen every once in a while. So what do you do when something like this happens? First, you need to understand that your target still remains the same, which means if your target was 27.20, it doesn't matter that you had a bad feel, you should take a partial at your target. The fact that you had a bad feel doesn't, does not mean anything. You should be taking your partial at your target. And I was a little bit hesitant, I did not. That was a mistake. That was my 
uh, I should say, second mistake. But you know, the first one, I couldn't really expect it. I was a little bit concerned, but that was a mistake. Definitely it was a mistake. So I should have had my partial. Once it started coming down, I should have taken my partial that could have been around 30 cents or even 40 cents partial. Instead of looking for 80 cents, I could have taken a partial of 30 to 40 cents. I should have done that. But, you know, it came down so nicely. I thought maybe, just maybe it's going to continue. But in the back of my mind, really, I was thinking, well, I got a bad feel. Now I've got uh, entry price at uh, 27.60. And um, should I just take a, 20, a 30 cent or so partial? Or should I wait a little bit more? Because it just came down so nicely. Uh, nice volume, nice way, spike down and maybe it's just going to spike another two dollars. So see, in the back of my mind, I was really hoping for some continued miracle that something is going to happen in CRCT and that was a mistake because, again, if your target is 27.20, click that button right there. It does not matter that you missed your entry point. Your target is not based on your entry point, it's based on the plan because the plan is technical. If you plan to short it at $28 and your stop should be somewhere around here, which is around uh, 70 to 80 cents, that was approximately my stop loss right over here, then your target should be respected the, the same way. Well, it did continue all the way down to 27.20 or even less, but you know, technically speaking, that's my target and I should respect that exactly as I respect my stop loss regardless of my entry point. Regardless of my entry point, now I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I, I repeat that sentence because it's very important for you to understand that uh, it does not matter if you had a bad feel. Your, the technicals is what matters. Your te technical target stays the same. It's not changed based on your, uh, on your execution price. It does not change based on your execution price. You just click that button wherever you can. Yes, you have a smaller loser. Yes, if it goes up now, you may have a much bigger loser because you now add 70 for the planned stop loss of 70 or 80 cents. You add another 40 cents, which was the bad feel. That's what happened to me today and I should have respected my target. I did not. I was extremely lucky that it moved up a little bit and then came down again and gave me the chance. And once it came back to the target 27, 8, 20 or so, I did take a partial. This trade finished in green for me, but it's a combination of, uh, of luck and of course a mistake that I made earlier. So, you know, I should have taken my partial earlier. That was a mistake. Please remember that. You miss your, your entry point, the technicals remain the same, you take your partial the same way as uh, you planned, and you just, uh, you know, uh, you, just, you just don't have as good trade as you could have, or maybe a much bigger loser. But it happens sometimes, you need to respect your target, you need to respect your stop loss the same way. So that's it for me, uh, a very red day. Uh, sorry, I couldn't help you um, more than I did today. I hope I did help you a little bit. So thank you very much. Have a great weekend. I'll see you all here next week. Thank you for participating. Thank you guys for following us in YouTube. Really appreciate that. Have a great weekend all. And I'll see you all next week. Bye traders.